welcome back to Gaming Cats. So, I finally cleared off my desk, so it's no longer messy, but now you can, well, you can always see it, but I know it's more clean. So today we have a very special video. Do we see that every single time? Well, anyway, this time I have a very special video. This one took me a really long time to make, and the past videos that I've been making recently, they've just really been off the top of my head and I just like wing it. That's basically what happened with the coronavirus one. Like I've never made that before and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna wing it. Ended up being a fail. You should go check that one out if you haven't already. And my most popular video is my baby Yoda clay one. If you haven't seen that one, you need to go check that one out because that one's so adorable and so cute. So I was thinking to myself, what other Star Wars characters can I do? Or something revolving around that that would be that popular. So, I decided on doing a Jawa. And these are my little Jawas. Was this took me a long time to make, so I'm just gonna try to do it fast. And a Jawa, it's basically from Star Wars, and they're little guys. I think they're all black, because like, they have black face, you don't really see it. And they have a little brown hood. I think they're absolutely adorable, so I made one of these little things out of clay. I looked up a few different photos of them, and then I combined them together to make this creature. So this is what we're going to be making today. So I know I don't have a lot of brown clay, and this is literally all I have. So I was doing some research, and I found out how to make clay. Now you can't really see it on camera, but this isn't totally a brown. It's more or less like... um copper kind of but it's it still works for a brown it's not a dark brown but it's really nice so I have a little bit left so I'm going to show you how to make that so the first color that you're going to be needing is green and then the next color that you are going to be needing is red I'm just going through my little basket so red and green there's a bunch of other combinations I know like there's yellow, green, yellow, red, and blue. Those also make brown, but I tried that and I wasn't happy with the brown. It made like this gray, so I didn't really like that. So I was looking up others and I don't really have a ton of orange. So when I found the red and green, I was like, oh, okay. So I made it and I found a really good color. So what you're gonna do is if you don't have those colors, or you don't have a ton of it, or you just want to make more colors. You're going to mix those two together in your hand. It takes a little bit just to do that. So in the meantime, while we're going to do this, I'm going to talk to you about how we're going to do this. So the colors that you're going to be needing is you're going to need some yellow for the eyes. I'm using like a neon yellow that I have. Um, a lot of brown. Oh, shoot. Well, I use too much green. This is how you can tell if you use too much of one color. If you use too much green, then it'll turn out like this. A very disgusting, dark greeny color. So you don't want that. So you need, you probably want to have the red overpower it just slightly more. Not a ton more, just like a little bit more. So then you'll get the nice color that you want. So I have my red here and I have quite a bit more this time. So we are going to do a take two and this is not going to be another fail video because unlike this, I made it before. So you're going to be making this one more time. Try to make the red overpower a little bit or have them equal because if one, if the green mostly is overpowering the red, it won't look good. So on top of that, you are also going to be needing bra brown, I said that already though, brown and black. So for the black, is the black is going to be its face. It's not wanting to stand up today. And I made little tiny hands coming out of it, kind of like I did for the Baby Yoda. But if you don't want to make little hands, that's fine. I just thought that it would be a cute little touch to add and kind of make it my own. So I'm not going to make one that's that big because that was really big. And I'm regretting how big that was. So I'm going to make a smaller version this time. And making the smaller version, it is going to be a lot smaller. So I'm just gonna use what I have right here because that's gonna take me a long time to mix. So we are going to need some black as usual. I'm using my huge block of clay. I'm just going to cut a little bit off because I am doing a baby one. So 
my proportions are going to be very small. And I'm, you're going to go and you're going to take this and you're going to pinch out. Oh, this is going to be really small. <laughs> a tiny little head shape. Mine is extremely small and I don't know why I'm going to make it this small. Maybe it'll be like a tiny stuffed animal or something. <laughs> and I'm just going to put this right in the corner so that you can keep looking at that as I work. And you're going to take a little bit and you are going to smoosh it out. But you want to make sure that the top has a little bit more. And then you just go ahead and you make like a little dangly part like that. And then you wrap this around the head. Oh, it's so cute. I'm sorry, I have a cuteness problem. So, but if you hear banging downstairs, it's just my mom. She's making supper. And that is the little hood. It doesn't look as cute as that one, but that's all. That's fine because this is a smaller version. And on this one, I made it hang down quite far. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this and just like attach it to the back to make a little hood. And the next, it kind of looks weird, but don't worry, it'll look better when it's done. The next thing you are going to need is the yellow. So for the yellow, you are going to roll out two little balls. You're going to stick it on its face. For this one, because it was bigger, I like poked holes in the clay, but I don't, oh wait. And then I like stuck the eyes in those holes because it just kind of it, made it look better. And I did like four eyes type things, if you know what I'm talking about. But um, this one is also going to have four eyes. And I figured it has to have a little hole in it using a little knife. But don't worry. If I, as I've mentioned in other videos, if you don't have these types of tools, you don't need them. You can, you can use your hands or you can use like a paintbrush. Or you can use a pencil. Honestly, my favorite tool is the bottom of a paintbrush. I keep that with me at all times. It's extremely useful. And I like it better than all my other clay tools. <laughs> That's just a little random little fact. And there we go. Oh, and if you're wondering the reason why I am posting on a Thursday or Friday, whatever it is the day that I'm posting this right now, it's because I'm bored and I have school off. And I was just bored and I didn't have anything to do. And when you're bored, why not just share clay? So I finished attaching the eyes. I didn't really show you much of the process. It kind of looks like a spider. That's okay. You don't have to do the double eye effect. I, I did. Oh, you would just make one eye hole. I think it looks the same. For this one, it might look a little bit better because it's a smaller one. Oh, I love tiny stuff. And there we go. Tiny little dude. And then you are going to start rolling up the body that's about in proportion to the head. And you're just going to kind of make it like a little cylinder. And then you attach it. Oh my god. It's so cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. I've never been. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, so I made the little tiny thingy. And before I attach the arms, you are going to go ahead and you are going to smush a little part of the clay and just wrap it around the bottom and tuck it right under the head like that. And it just kind of looks like the little bit of cloth going on. And it looks like a baby hair. Oh my god, this is so cute. And then the last thing you are going to need is a little bit of black for the arms. And you are going to roll out the pieces of black and attach them. And mine looks quite a bit different than the original product, but that's because mine is a lot smaller. This one is a lot smaller. If you can look at the comparison, there's quite a difference in height and size, and there's a little bit of lack of detail in this tiny dude, but that's okay because it's really small and there's only a certain amount of detail you can add in a tiny one. And for this big one, I couldn't really show you the small one, but if you pinch the sides, then it'll kind of make it look like it was worn more. And I didn't do it on the smaller one, but here, I'll show you now. So, it's gonna rip the head off. Probably should've showed you this step before. But I forgot. You don't have to do this part. And you roll out a little ball, you smush it down, like so, so it's kinda like this. And then, I'm using a tool, but you can use a fingernail. 
And I'm just making little dents in the clay like that. And then I'm just going to put that over top of his little dress coat. And voila! He looks even more adorable. <laughs> I just can't get over how cute this is. So this is this is the mother Jawa, and then this is the baby Jawa. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more Star Wars characters, or more clay characters. If you have any ideas of any Star Wars characters, clay characters, as always, make sure to comment them down below so then I can get more inspiration. If you have any suggestions or any questions or any ideas of clay or clay tips or anything you need, questions, comments, anything, go ahead and put them down in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them and help you out. I try to answer every single comment that I get because I don't get many. But... Thank you for watching. See you next time.